Good morning and happy Friday. As uh, for our science opportunity and science learning targets today, just want to recap an experiment that we took and some data we collected on Tuesday. If you were here, you helped us with this. If you weren't, I uh, just want to recap what we did find and then draw some conclusions from there. So on Friday, we gathered four different uh, earth materials. We'd had water, sand, soil, and air. Um, of the three measurable uh, materials that we had. We wanted to make sure we had approximately the same volume of each. So we filled up equal levels of water, sand, soil, and then air. Of course, we really couldn't measure, but we had a container just filled with air. After we had those earth materials, we um, put them, put some thermometers in them, reading Celsius. We tried to keep them as uh, close to the surface level as possible. And then um, we put an insulating layer underneath each of the materials and then set them out into the sun for 10 minutes and set them out into the shade for 10 minutes after that. That's shown by our data here. We had 10 minutes worth of sunshine and then 10 minutes worth of shade. And from each of those, we took temperature readings of the four different earth materials, again, all in Celsius. So you can see what's happening to the sand, soil, water, and air for each of our two minute interval sessions. Again, the first 10 minutes in sunshine, the second 10 minutes in the shade. After that, we just modeled and graphed our data just to show what was happening with some general trends. Um, this person's model that I'm using has a nice key down here so we can see exactly what is sand, what's soil, what's water, and what's air. We're just going to show some general trends of what we did see. So as we're looking at the sand, over the course of 10 minutes, we saw that sand steadily increase. And then as soon as we put into the shade, we saw that sand decrease in temperature and end right, approximately right there. We saw similar trends with soil. Soil is representing by our X's, and so our X's kind of went here and then kind of bottomed out. After that, we had our water. Our water started off in a similar trend, but then didn't cool down as rapidly as the others. And then lastly, we had our air, which is our smiley faces, and we saw this general trend with our air temperatures. So from those general trends, I'll, again, I'll erase this information and I'll post this kind of still image um, from the data. I'm going to have you draw some conclusions, give me some ideas what you think, and we'll move forward from there. Um, again, as always, and I'll put this in my emails, email me if you have any questions. Uh, let's communicate about some things and let's make sure that we're still um, exercising those science brains, even though we are at home. All right. Happy Friday. Happy learning opportunities.